Hi, my name's Ian Goodwin. I work for Agriculture Victoria at the Tatura Smart Farm. Um, I'm the project leader in the PIP3 project, Apple Systems and Apple uh, Technologies. I'm with Alessio Scalisi, uh, and he also works on this project. Today, we're going to focus on uh, what we're doing with respect to using the cartographer for uh, measurements of fruit diameter and um, fruit color, how far we've got with the research but also, um, you know, its application for growers. So, Alessio, if you'd just like to, you know, describe where we've got to with diameter yeah. and colour. Mm. Yeah, thanks, Ian. Uh, it's pretty exciting because um, we are going next level compared to what, uh, you know, is already kind of commercial with Green Atlas, and uh, we are trying to uh, uh, validate predictions of fruit size, uh, fruit diameter, and uh, fruit colour. And, you know, uh, there are a few technologies available commercially that can predict fruit size, but uh, fruit color is really difficult and this is due to the interference of external line. Color estimations are based on the detected fruit that are firstly detected to uh, determine crop load and yield, and then on the same fruit we can also assess fruit size and color. So this is great because like at the same time while we scan we can collect a number of different crop uh, parameters that are very useful for growers. So um, from a grower's point of view, how might they actually use those observations? Yeah, so uh, the main output of uh, this technology is a spatial map. So if we can uh, scan the orchard close to harvest and we can detect fruit size and fruit color, then we, we can also prioritize our uh, uh, worker uh, you know, uh, strategies. What I mean is like workers can be uh, sent to specific rows, specific areas of the block, uh, where, for example, uh, uh, an additional thinning is required to increase fruit size, or uh, we can uh, uh, use reflective match to improve uh, color in those areas of the block that uh, have less color development on the fruit surface. So there are many different ways uh, this technology can be used, and the next level would be try to relate all these uh, crop parameters with each other in uh, specific areas of the block so that we can optimize that management strategy. Yeah, so it's all about you know, using this technology not only for our research purposes, but also to help growers improve their um, uh, profitability, their That's productivity. Right. Yeah. Yeah.